Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of EverQuest Old School. And we are up in the throne room right now, which is a little too high for me. I would suggest not being here to at least level 10. Uh, but we got a warrior here, B-Set, or Beast, uh, who's level, I think he's level 12 warrior. And then we got Torlock here, who's also a pretty decent level of uh, paladin. Uh, and so we're doing pretty pretty good. I mean, he, they're doing just fine tanking. Don't really even really need me as far as... Uh, as, uh, you know, I'm doing fairly decent damage, I guess, but uh, I'm not really going to be the, the main tank here, so. And I am only level 9. We actually just got to level 9 not too long ago. I get a lot of experience here in this group, which is why I'm kind of not wanting to leave, because it's so good. About to lose our healer, though, so we're not sure uh, what we're going to do yet. We may get another one. I think we have a druid who can take over, and we had a shaman there for not too long ago, but I think we lost him, and now we got a bard, so... We'll have to see. Uh, if worse comes down to worse, I'll simply load up on my cleric and come over here, who's level 10, and, and take her place. But because, like I said, I'm not really the main tank, anyways. Uh, but it's pretty good experience up in this this room. It's constant kills, as you can see. They just they spawn so quickly. Uh, there's tons of bodies on the ground. Uh, we're not looting the junk, we're only looting the uh, the belts and the shoulder pads. And in fact, they're not even doing alpha loot on the belts, really. It's just the shoulder pads that you're interested in. Because at this level, the belts really are not going to get you anything other than cash. You're just going to want to sell them. Uh, let's see. They're pretty low on power, so... We'll see here in a second what they're going to do. I'm going to actually have a fair amount of lag here for some reason. Oh, there it goes. It's gone. So it was just a momentary spike and, and I guess uh, activity on the internet where I lost my my connection for a few milliseconds or something which will tend to happen sometimes I know I'm I'm doing the game uh, Path of Exile now and I'm uploading videos for there and when I was first doing it I thought oh maybe, uh, maybe there's something wrong with the game or something like that because I was getting some, some serious uh, you know choppiness to the footage and what it really was was I was just getting massive lag on their server side because my my connection was f perfectly fine. I, I have an awesome connection now uh, that I switched companies. Um, I'm, I've never had an issue since I, I switched, so I'm thankful in that regard. And my computer was more than capable of running it, uh, so I was able to narrow it down that it was the server side. So if you see something like that, occasionally you will run into issues, but for the most part, uh, these games are are pretty well established, and you don't really have to worry about issues like that. Legionnaire. I'm gonna go ahead and blind him. Uh, of course, it's not gonna go off. There we go. And it's pretty good spell for getting aggro. He'll go right after me uh, because I cast that spell on him. So it's a good way that if your tank's about to die and you wanna, and you're not the main tank and you're trying to take it off of him so that uh, he can survive the fight and share a little bit of the damage to you. Uh, you can use this this spell right here, and he'll pretty much always uh, turn and attack. Uh, plus, it blinds him, I believe. I think that's uh, this is a flash of light. Uh, so it's kind of nice that he won't be able to see you, but he does seem to be able to see me just fine every time I use it. So that's kind of weird. Bracers. You don't need no stinking bracers. Want to sell a level 12 enchanter pet spell for 12 plat? Not quite sure why you bought an extra uh, pet spell. Maybe he made it. I do know uh, you can you can pick up uh, pieces of of different items in different zones and actually do research into making spells. So can it be? Or the legend is true? CB pad. Only after that many Legos. Yeah, so he's not getting very good luck on his uh, his, his pads. But the, the higher the level of the Lego, uh, the more chance, or the higher the chance, I should say, that you will find uh, a pad off of them. Obviously, this is the best place to do it. This is the highest uh, point in the zone, uh, both, both figuratively and uh, literally, because it is a tower. Uh, so it will be the highest point. Uh, but it also has the highest level creatures and the best chance at getting the pads, uh, as well as uh, the highest level of experience. Uh, possible. Now, a lot of people uh, have been asking me where I'm going to be going next. Unrest is probably the place that I'm going to pick. I'm not sure if I'll take 
both my my paladin and my cleric there. I know I, I know I want to take at least one there, and I kind of want to take uh, my necro to Oasis and hunt there for a little while because that would be a perfect place for him to solo, and I can show you guys that because a lot of people didn't go there. Uh, they don't, you know, some people don't solo at all, and some people who did solo uh, didn't go there anyway. So I want to show you guys what that looks like. But if I don't go there with my Paladin, uh, then I'll take him to a different zone other than on rest. If you guys have any ideas, uh, please feel free to put it down below. I definitely like to check out some different zones. I'm thinking maybe around level 20, I'll go to Najina with uh, with either my Paladin or my uh, my Necro. That would be a good place to go to solo because a lot of people, and I mean a lot, never even entered that zone. It's so out of the way. It's over in Lava Storm, and usually by the time you got to Lava Storm, you're going to like Solus B or Solus A and you're already like level 40 and so Najina is just too low and you're not going to get any experience out of it. Go ahead and kill these people. As best as we can anyways. I think we're doing fine on the heals. Uh, you know, Beast there just has so many hit points. It's ridiculous. What are they talking about down here? Good experience to around level 12 or 13 with the shoulder pads. It's so useless to me then. Uh, they sell for about 5 platinum too, so a little bit higher than what they used to be going for. Some of the pads at level 15 is nice. <laughs> so 5 or 6 bags full of, uh, full of pads at level 15 can get you a tidy sum apparently, but that's pretty obvious with that price going. Kill this guy already. 2% emissary. Which I was actually just, just watching Deep Space Nine the other day, so when I, when I see the emissary, I think of that. Uh, not exactly my favorite Star Trek series out of all of them. Uh, but I have actually watched it quite a few times. It does grow on you. I do like the acting, and uh, the characters are kind of cool, but. You know, I do like uh, them being on a ship more than anything else. It has a little bit more violent than I would prefer it. I always like the old school uh, Star Trek ones that, uh, you know, like, uh, I guess I would say Next Generation would be my favorite at all of them. And you guys will have to let me know what you guys think, even if you like Star Trek at all. Uh, let me know which one you guys prefer. I think out of all the ones that have come out, the one I dislike the most would have to be uh, Enterprise with uh, the Scott Bakula. Simply because I despise, with a passion, time travel. I think it's a cop-out in every sense of the word uh, for writing, for stories, for, for acting, for anything. Because it's, it's kind of like uh, Robin Caruso's uh, ship in the old books. Didn't quite know what you needed, but uh, it was always out there. Oh, you need rope? Uh, there's rope out there. You need a cannon? Uh, there was a cannon out there. How about an elephant? Yeah, that was hiding in one of the urns. I mean, it was just... It was it was just your your shortcut to give them weapons and items and things of that sort. Oh crap! Let me heal this guy. It's not going to be much, but he's not taking a huge amount of damage. Come on, heal already. Get closer. I guess he ran for it. Because I can't heal him from wherever he's at. But yeah, time travel just seems like a shortcut or a way to reboot a series without actually rebooting it. Uh, and so I didn't really care for that series that much, but the acting was good, and I've always been a fan of Quantum Leap, so it's kind of disappointed to see the the storyline really took away from from uh, you know such great actors. Of course, it has nothing to do with EverQuest, so I'm not quite sure why I'm talking about it, but you know it's kind of nice to uh, just uh, relate to you guys every once in a while on things that are. Uh, completely different and uh, you know don't necessarily have to do with the game I've talked about LARPing before as well uh, and although that's like a fantasy kind of thing so it kind of does uh, mesh up well I also plan to do a Star Trek online uh, let's play so for those of you who may be interested in seeing that uh, that's coming soon probably within the next month or two uh, I have family down right now for for the next week so my time's gonna be uh, split quite a bit uh, in the meantime Warm Slayer and me want to dual wield this now. Ah, oh, nice. Very nice. Let's see, what does it say? One-handed, 25 damage. I'll right here in a second. 25 damage, 40 delay. 
Ah, uh, 5 AC, so that's nice that the weapon even, isn't even adding AC, that's your ability to take damage and resist it. And plus 5 strength, and uh, save versus magic plus 5. Weight is kind of high, it's 15, and size is giant. So, classes, warriors, paladin, rangers, and shadow knights, and races all can use it. Uh, that's probably better than what I'm wearing, let me look at the one I'm wearing. Uh, damage is 17 versus 25 damage. Delay is 30 versus 40. So mine has a slower or, or a quicker uh, attack than his, but he does more damage per. Yeah, that would be hard to decide. You'd have to look at the calculator online. There's a there's a website you can go to and enter the stats in, and they tell you uh, which one is actually going to do more damage in the long run. Of course, if you have one with a high attack uh, and a low or a really slow delay, you can get like the FDSS, which is the Flowing Black Silk Sash from Lower Guck, which adds haste, and that will increase how fast you attack with that weapon. Now, of course, you will still attack faster with that sash and a weapon with a lower. There's like three corpses here, I think. You still attack faster with a a slower delay or a quicker, you know, turnabout on the delay than, uh, than the one you're using, but you can still make it usable and still do an incredible amount of damage. And versus somebody who doesn't have the FBSS at all uh, will definitely make it worth it. You know, it's, it's one of those rare items that I'm sure people are camping right now. Uh, and it's it's one of those things that no matter what time of the day you log on, if people are in Lower Guck, uh, they're going to be camping that. That's, that's the one room out of all the rooms that will always be camped. The same thing for uh, the uh, the Yutsky, which is in the, the King Room, the Throne Room, I think is is where that spawns. And that's very rare that that one drops as well, and everybody always wants it, uh, all the tanks. I uh, definitely want to dual wield one of those. And... Well, it's been a solid run. Indeed, heavy XP gain. Stay until I ding, I can leave this. <laughs> he wants out of here as well. Going to do the log shortly, gonna pick someone up, same guy. So we're gonna lose two people, our cleric and uh who's L oh great. He's the druid. So we're gonna lose both of our healers. Well apparently that's going to be the end of the group here guys, uh at least with my paladin. Uh, maybe I can keep the group going that way. Maybe. With any luck. We'll have to see here in a second. Uh, either way, we're probably going to stop the episode here, depending on how long it is. I think this is going to be pretty short, so I may just combine this episode with the healer one. Uh, okay, so yeah, then we'll switch over. Uh, again, guys, if you like these videos, uh, please hit the like button, subscribe. Definitely leave comments down below. I always love hearing back from you guys and uh, growing our community together. Uh, oh, they're not leaving just yet. <laughs> okay, then I'll wait. Uh, I don't want to make this too short for you guys because that's. I think I just recorded. I started recording like 10 minutes ago or something. So usually I just go by feel. I don't try to do these episodes, uh, you know, by a hard time or anything like that. Divine Crush might be up. Yeah, that might be pretty hard. We'll have to see. Hopefully, uh, hopefully we can do it. I've left this up the whole video. I'm going to take it down now. Uh, this is just so that you guys can see a roundabout idea of how much experience you get per kill at different levels. Uh, it does kind of get in the way, and probably when I go back and watch it, I'll probably wish that I had remembered to take that down. But let me know if you guys like that. I'll leave it up more often, or... I wish, like I said before, I could take that, that little experience bar and put it somewhere on the map or on the screen so you guys could see that. I'd love a Dragon Dirk to DW. I'm not sure what DW is. Dark Water, maybe? I don't know. If I get Ringmail of Crush or Off Crush, I could make a Screaming Mace. A Screaming Mace, I remember, was a pretty good item. I don't remember why you need the, the ring mailed off of this guy, though. 
Yeah, that might be why that high level was camping. I mean, he may have been uh, trying to get some loot off of the named. There we go. Camp chick. Pretty much everything it looks like. The walls camped, the pits, the uh, throne room, which is where we're at, tents are camped. Don't see anybody at at slavers or uh, the taskmaster. So those are open, unless they just didn't reply. All time favorite item is Mace of the Shadowed Soul. I remember it dropping from my Necro, then I rolled an SK. Uh, the good old days. Yeah, well, sometimes you have good dice, and sometimes your dice are so lame, uh, you literally want to crush them. But <laughs> I remember we were doing a, a random 1 to 1000. And uh, I got a one. Somebody else got 999. I'm like, yeah, it was so close. <laughs> and it was an item that I really, really, really wanted. You know, but it's just like sometimes, sometimes you just, your dice are against you. Just not going to win. And be careful to make sure, not a lot of people will do it, but some people will do it for fun. Uh, they actually will do an emote saying that they, uh, you know, rolled 1 through 100 or 1 through 1,000, and they came up with whatever number that they want to pick from. And you do a, a emo by doing forward slash E-M-O-T-E, and then space, and then whatever you want it to say. So you can do forward slash emote space uh, dances with a tree, and then it will say your character dances with a tree. So it comes out a different color, though, so be careful when you're doing your randoms that you don't see somebody doing it in, like, blue or pink or whatever the case is, the color free motion, and, uh, <laughs> you know, saying that they rolled the number that they actually did. Uh, it's kind of a little cheeky way of, of stealing stuff every once in a while when you have people who are not familiar with it, but at higher levels, everybody will catch it. Lower levels, not so much. People won't realize what's going on. And there's nothing really worth stealing at a lower level, plus it's just mean to do that to a, to a newbie. So, nothing on that warlord, apparently. Go ahead and loot some of these guys up. Knockblade is better. You know, I never really got into weapons too much as far as which ones were better and which ones weren't because, as I said, I usually played my cleric. And once I got my epic, that was it. You know, I didn't really have to worry about ever getting a better weapon than that. Uh, let me heal up Tuk. Can do a little bit of healing, anyways. It's actually toll lock, but come on, stop fizzling. Using all my power. I don't know how often this happens, but I made a bar to start out here, went to Steam Font, and in like 10 minutes got that offhand weapon from the Rogue Epic. Skin Watch Mob. Uh, if you need a secondhand weapon for dual wield, that might be a common, so it's kind of interesting to know. Might be interesting to check out, see if they got something there. Now, right now, I could dual wield, uh, or I think maybe you have to wait until you're a certain level, but you can dual wield this class. Uh, but usually, you will have a shield if you're going to be the tank so that you can use your bash and interrupt their spells and things of that sort. Usually warriors are pretty much the only ones who will dual wield all the time. Uh, monks as well, of course. Everybody's pretty good on life. I guess they're gonna stay for quite a long time, so that's that's all right with me. There's an oracle back there. Again, you got to be aware of it. Usually you'll create uh, timers, and I know there's some skins out there that actually have the timers built in. And you can literally have five timers up and just click it 
can set the name of who is going to be spawning and it will sit there and count down. Uh, you know, and those are kind of helpful if you're the tank. You want to keep track of when the next guy is spawning so you're aware of it. But I don't know. I find those is a little bit of a cheat. Uh, it's kind of nice, but you shouldn't be that exact by it. I mean, yeah, you can use the clock in your room if you have one. That's, you know, but having that with that Pacific and it has the name and it's all nice and neat for you. I mean, that's a that's a little bit of a cheat, but it may save your life and, you know, save you from 45 minute corpse run. So maybe worth trying out. Okay, so I guess this is probably where I'll head out to and get the healer. Legionnaire. I'm almost level 9, I think. Not close enough. I'm about halfway. So all my characters are going to be level 9. My, my cleric's level 9. My uh, necro's level 9 right now. And my paladin's about to be... Not level 9, level 10. Sorry. And uh, my paladin's about to be level 10. So that's pretty cool that they're all leveling equally because I play them uh, in different zones usually when I can't find groups with the other ones. So... Bard heal is going to have to work for now. Okay, guys. Well, I want to thank you for watching. And uh, definitely uh, leave some comments down below. And I'll catch you on the next episode.